from rags to riches. Former market stall worker becomes millionaire at just 21. Janitor who drops out of high school becomes CEO of Goldman Sachs. Social mobility, we're told, is the cornerstone of a fair society. A just nation is said to be one where talent is all that matters. Rewards go to those who have earned them. There's just one small problem. Social mobility, as most of us understand it, is undesirable and cruel. Why? Well, you can aim for a society where people have more equal opportunities and their success is based on talent, or you can aim for one where everyone is more equal, full stop. That's meritocracy versus egalitarianism. But the thing is, we can't be more meritocratic unless we're more egalitarian. The evidence is clear. Mobility is greater in societies that are more equal because the rungs in the ladder are closer together. Working class people have less far to travel up and because falling back is less frightening, the middle classes aren't so obsessed with monopolizing the routes to success like places at good schools or universities. In an unequal society, greater relative social mobility, people moving down as much as up, well, it actually makes the country more miserable. Psychologists talk about loss aversion. The pleasure people get from moving upwards is weaker than the pain they get from going downwards. And those who have moved down or stay down are stigmatized even more. In a perfectly mobile society, rich people would see their success not as good fortune, but just desserts. And conversely, not only do the poor have less, they can be considered genuinely inferior. Ignoring inequality and focusing on mobility denies universal dignity. It reinforces and celebrates differences between people according to a fixed idea of talent or value. And today we have the worst of all worlds. Ours is a deeply unequal society. Our life chances differ substantially depending on class and background. But it's also one in which the ideology of meritocracy justifies the advantages of the rich and legitimizes disdain for the poor. Social mobility can work, but only combined with a commitment to reduce inequality and to policies that provide dignity and basic freedom to all, regardless of our talents or presumed virtues. In short, egalitarians are meritocrats who mean it. The rich are getting richer. By 2014, the combined wealth of the 1,000 richest people in the UK had risen to £519 billion.